Okay, so here's where I'm at with Bioshock, and this is what really bothers me. Every single person I know sped through the game, lickety-freaking-split. They're like, let's just go easy mode, let's get through this game real quick. I've been slowly going through it on hard. Uh, a lot of this is due to time constraint more than anything else, but the one thing I am missing more than anything else is talking with my friends and interacting with the, like, the suspicions and the conspiracy theories about what's happening. So right now, currently in the game, I don't really know too much of what's happening. There's been no confirmed... Uh, really much of anything. At this point in the game, I've gone through my first tear after uh, the whole Chen Lin incident. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about at this point, please turn off the video. I don't want to do spoilers. But I wanted to take a time to document my, at least for my own benefit, the crazy conspiracies I've begun to concoct here because uh, I, I, I would love to... I, I would love for someone else to be able to not be stuck in my position where they, they want to hear the ideas of somebody else without hearing confirmed spoilers because at this point, I don't know what happens. So... Some cool things that I, I, there's some things here that are just bothering the heck out of me, and I'm sure I'm gonna have these answered, and I could go to Google right now and look up the spoilers and ruin the game for myself, but I'm not. So here's what my thoughts are at this point in the game for you guys. Now the first thing that stuck out for me more than anything else, Elizabeth here. She's cute, she's beautiful, she's your companion, but she looks nothing like the trailers at all. No blue dress, no short hair. I don't know what's up with that. I was talking to friends like, is this some stupid skin you have to do for DLC? Please don't give me spoilers. They did confirm that, like, just play the game, you'll understand more. So, for me, this is, like, the number one thing that stuck out. I was just like, why does Elizabeth not look like anything that I saw in the trailers for this game? Because I was so stoked for this. And I'm not complaining, by the way. Elizabeth, hands down, best com best freaking companion in any game ever. Oh my god. But, uh, so that, that, that really sticks out to me as a big sore thumb point. But I guess, you know, whatever. I keep playing like they said, I'll find out what happens. The second thing that's really starting to bother me here. Uh, those two people, the redheads, the guy and the girl, I don't know their names. Um, I think one of them has been in the Vox phones I've been picking up, but I don't remember her name offhand. Either way, those two have been coming and disappearing, and you just, I, for the most part, I've, I've not been overthinking their involvement in the game thus far, but two things stick out to me. One is the fact that, you know, the, they find you the first time they ask you to flip a coin heads or tails. You call one, I don't know what happens, I picked tails, but it ended up heads. I don't know what happens vice versa, but, you know, you don't think of that as much, and you're like, well, this didn't, this didn't lead into any tutorial, this didn't teach me about anything in the direct like vicinity of the area, no quests were related to it. So that part kind of says, like, Bioshock... Forget Bioshock, game developers in general are always very deliberate. Rarely do they leave giant plot holes or unanswered questions. And that, that says to me, like, some, it raises a red flag. Because it comes again with the thing on her neck here. Now, this could just be for aesthetic value purely and entirely, but I see the little... Uh, Hunger Games bird, as it were, on her neck. This is another choice you're given, pick the cage or the bird. I picked just, I just, I didn't think much, I just picked one and kept going, but then I realized, like, that again didn't lead into anything. So, I'm really curious, the whole game has been bothering me, like, what is with these choices we're making? Like, what, they don't seem to have any effect on the game, there's no tutorials to spawn off them. Then you get to this Chen Lin section, or Chen Li, I'm sorry, I'm probably saying his name, I, I just finished doing it and I don't remember his name, sorry. Uh, you get to this section of the game and you realize things happen differently in this, I don't know if you'll call it other reality, other dimension, but... Now it's starting to make a little more sense on why you've got these choices, because obviously if you pick A in one universe, it's going to be B in the other, and that's... I'm curious to see where the neck is going to come in and all this stuff, so I'm really I'm really excited and stoked for that. The other thing that's really bothering me, I didn't think too much of it, and I wouldn't have if I didn't bonk my head in real life. So, uh, day one of playing Bioshock, this is day three for me, by the way. Day one, you start playing, Comstock says a thing in the beginning, and you, and you wipe some blood off your face. And you don't really know where that comes from. Uh, and I did not think two things about this at all. Even after seeing the soldiers, after you kill them with the whole going through the terror and all that stuff, didn't put two seconds of thought into it. Going for dinner last night, bonked my head, slammed right into the door, my nose starts bleeding. And then I realized, like, that must have been his nose bleeding, because I do the whole thing where, like, you wipe it off, you're like, oh my god, what is that? So I'm wondering if he's, if currently this, this iteration of the game that I'm going through, if this is like my second reality, because you got that whole weird thing where when you die and go into like that room, it's like, Mr. Do it, open the door, we want the girl. So I, I, I'm I'm starting to feel that Bioshock kind of, you know, would you kindly vibe starting to set in. I'm really curious to see where this goes, but that's where I'm at with the game right now. So if you guys feel the same as me, if you want to discuss this without spoilers, please leave uh, stuff in the description as this is, this is gonna be the end of my uh, diary slash gameplay for today. But I'm really curious to see what other people have to say 
think and hear about if I can read that before I finish the game. But in case I can't, either way, I won't I won't put any spoilers in this whatsoever. I'll try and delete comments that have spoilers. But thank you for your input, guys.